today we're going to find another way to determine independence using conditional probability. So here's how we use conditional probability to determine whether two events are independent. So we have two events called events X and Y. If the conditional probability equals the probability without the condition, then the two events are independent. They do not affect each other. However, if the conditional probability does not equal the probability without the condition, then the two events are dependent. And you could do it both ways. Whichever one you decide to make the condition, in this case, you made, we made uh, y the condition. Here we made x a condition. So it doesn't matter which case you choose. You only have to choose one situation to determine independence. Okay, again, the order of which one you make the condition doesn't matter. So let's try an example. I have six cards. Two of spades is black, nine of clubs black, eight of hearts red, eight of diamonds red, five of clubs black, five of hearts red. The question is, are black cards and the number five cards independent? So we're going to need to check a conditional probability with the one with the probability without the condition. So I'm going to choose probability of black, of choosing a black card given the number five card. So I've chosen the number five to be the condition. I could have reversed it. It would have worked out the same way. So let's find this probability. So the numerator are all the cards that are black and number five at the same time. Well, it's this one right here. The five of club is only one. I have the total of all number five cards. How many five cards are there? We have two. So the probability is one half. Well, does it equal the probability without the condition? The probability without the condition is probability of just getting black cards. Well, how many black cards are there? One, two, three. Out of a total, grand total, out of all the cards, six. Three, six is one half. And all you have to do is compare the two probabilities. Are they the same? Yes, since they're equal, the answer is the two events are independent. Choosing a black card does not affect choosing a number five card. Now, I just want to show you to you that what if we had made the black card the condition rather than the number five? I want to show it to you that it would work the same way. So what if we had done reversed? Okay, so that means how many cards are there that has a number five and black at the same time? In this deck, we have one. How many black cards are there in total? Three. Okay, so um, the answer is one third. Now what's the probability of the one without the condition? Just the number five cards. How many number five cards are there? Two out of a grand total of six, which is one third. Okay, even though the numbers are different, but the result is the same. The two numbers equal each other. Therefore, the two events are independent. Let's try another situation. Um, we have the same number of cards here, but the question is now, are red cards and the number eight cards independent. So let's check it out. So I'm going to do the condition um, red given the number eight card. So that means my numerator is going to be cards that are red and eight at the same time. Well here's a red eight and here's another red eight. So there's two of them. Out of how many number eight cards are there? There are two number eight cards. So that is 1. Now I'm going to compare this probability to the one without the condition, without the condition 8. So I just kind of find the probability of getting a red card. Well, in this situation, we have three cards that are red, the 8 of hearts, the 8 of diamonds, and the 5 of hearts. We have three of them out of a grand total of six cards. This is 1 half. 
As you can see, these two numbers don't equal. The condition probability does not equal the regular probability. Since they don't equal, this is dependent. And then I just want to prove to you what if we had we reversed this, would it still work? What if we had made red the condition? So let's check it out. So we need to pick cards that are red and the number 8 for the numerator. Cards that are red and 8, there's two of them. How many red cards are there? There are three red cards. So the probability is 2 thirds. Now we compare this number to the probability without the condition red. So it's just probability 8. Okay, how many cards have a number 8 in this deck? We have two. It's the 8 of hearts and the 8 of diamonds. I have a grand total of 6 cards. 2 over 6 is 1 third. Notice the two probabilities don't equal, so it's dependent. Okay, again, even though the numbers turned out different, the result is the same. And that's it.